Listen all to my words. Strive for infinite growth. Seek for all eternity to be beautiful and good. is finally upon us. At last. There is not a soul creature born from this universe that can resist the desire to know their true purpose and discover their true self. To discover those answers, one would travel to the ends of the universe. Yes, and so it is finally time for the divine light of wisdom to be released. Only the creator of the universe can emit such power. The sun of truth will rise over this entire planet, while the whole universe will be watching. Listen carefully, my soul. I have here the door to the truth. Chapter 1. More than a hundred billion years ago, the primordial God, the Creator, intended to create the third dimensional universe. And then, on one fortuitous day, a tremendous phenomenon gave birth to the stars. The Big Bang. Stars were the first forms of life full of consciousness. And 5.5 billion years ago, the primordial god chose the beautiful planet of Venus for a great creation. ninth dimensional great spirit of the solar system who is responsible for creating lives on Venus and the very first of these experimental life forms was a cross between an animal and a plant But after that, El Miore divided his creation to plant and animal life forms, and he watched as they evolved over the next two billion years. Until one day, El Miore decided to create human beings on Venus. then, over one billion years has passed, and the planet has been witness to the rise and fall of many civilizations. Eventually, Venusians gained the ability to travel through space and communicate with other planets. They created a utopian society. Life in this society was based on the principles of love, knowledge, reflection, and development. However, one day, the primordial god said to El Miore, I am delighted that the experiments on Venus have been such a success. They have surpassed my greatest expectations. But now that perfect harmony has been achieved, further evolution henceforward will be difficult. 
massive volcanic eruptions will soon take place on Venus. You must move some Venusians to other neighboring planets, where they may assist with the evolution of those planets. The other Venusian high spirits must take part in the creation of an entirely new spirit group for the planet Earth. But on Earth, you must start from the very beginning. Call upon the spirits from the other planets. Educate them so that they may create an ideal planet that will contribute to the evolution of the great universe. Since the living conditions created on Earth were fairer than on Venus, higher goals were set for a more dynamic evolution. Thus, a special environment had been created, one in which souls would be able to evolve eternally. The time has come to begin the creation of the human race here on Earth. It was at this time that El Niore, the former ruler of Venus and the first ninth dimensional being of the Earth, changed his name to El Cantare. A name that embraced the meaning of the beautiful land of light, Earth. El Cantare moved the spiritual life force of the Venusians that he had once created to the planet Earth, and he granted them the power of procreation. Live as human beings. Wisdom and courage. Grace and compassion. And so, human beings were created on Earth.
The descendants of those human beings multiplied steadily. And when the population exceeded 770 million, these humans should have the opportunity to experience leadership. So El Cantari then decided to have them teach and guide other human-like entities who were transferred to Earth from neighboring planets. And he invited three grand spirits to come together to draw up the master plan. These three grand spirits from the ninth dimension presented their ideas on how to integrate the human-like beings into Earth. And then... At this time that the dinosaurs began to overtake the surface of the Earth. So the decision was made to integrate the planet's first group of immigrants, a warlike race from the Magellanic Cloud. But lacking the spirit of harmony, these first immigrants were extremely arrogant, and El Cantare decided to invite another group of immigrants to Earth. One billion new immigrants arrived from the constellation Orion in a huge fleet, and with them came yet another three grand spirits. Next came the third group of immigrants, totaling two billion entities who journeyed from Pegasus, and they brought with them two more grand spirits. <laughs> <laughs> 